Hey you, welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. I'm wife. And together we're reading the Bible. Starting with Genesis and eventually ending with Revelations, we're working through every book and offering our atheist two cents. Or shekels. Yeah, those. We're asking questions and pointing out all the nonsense. We aren't academics or scholars. Nope. In fact, when it comes to religion, we really don't know anything at all. What we've learned so far is that God's a dick. Oh, he really is, isn't he? If you're interested in how we reached this startling conclusion, maybe start from episode one. Otherwise, jump in anywhere. It's all good. Yep. Hey, wife, we just got a new sponsor. It's Anchor. They must think we're doing something right because they picked us back up. That's amazing. Want to hear something even more amazing? Uh, yeah. I actually know what they are. You are full of shit. I'm calling your bluff. Tell me about Anchor. Okay, so Anchor by Spotify is the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. I'm actually surprised you knew that. But did you also know that Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer? Yes, because I see you do that on your phone all the time and it looks pretty simple. It really is. And when hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. But I use CastBox. Yeah, darling. I know you like CastBox. It gets distributed there too and lots of other platforms as well. And how much are we paying for this awesome service? Absolutely nothing. Coolio. So then we should tell people to download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started? Yep. Do it now. Husband. Wife. Do you remember what happened yesterday? I remember those fuckers in Israel were like planning to attack the other fuckers in Israel. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, when you put it like that. It was it was like West Side Gang was coming after East Side Gang. Right, yeah. Because East Side Gang was like, I bet West Side Gang's going to come after us, so let's build an altar to remind them <laughs> not to. And then West Side Gang was like... Went and totally proved their point. Yeah. 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 Like, whoa. By yeah. attacking them over the fucking altar itself. Or trying to. Yeah. Almost doing it. And then East Side was like, whoa, 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 God is great. <laughs> yeah. And then West Side was like, all right, we got our eyes on you. Yeah. And then, but before that, they were like blessing them and all kinds of shit yeah. and like, okay, go on to your land. Yeah. And then they're like, no, war, war. Yeah, it was not good. It was not good. It was not good. And that's what happened. That's what happened. So what's happening today? Joshua chapter 23. All right, let's go read this shit. Okay. Okay, Joshua chapter 23. Okay. Joshua's charged to the people. Okay. He's going to charge them. Got, yeah. With MasterCard or Visa? 69 cent. <laughs> <laughs> the years passed. Ooh. The years passed. The years passed. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and the Lord had, like, 10 years later, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> the years passed, and the Lord had given the people of Israel rest from all their enemies. Thank God. They settled their shit they down. They needed that rest, you know? Yeah, that was yeah. well deserved. They wandered for 40, 40 years. 40 fucking years, man. And then they did a war on everybody. And then they got to rest. And then they got to sit tight. How nice. Like, can y'all just take care of your own shit? They had, like, Mai Tais and... Yeah. yeah, just wash your laundry, hang it out to dry. Right. You know, go cook your bread, Did do whatever. Do they have whatever. little umbrellas in the drinks? You're an idiot. I'm just wondering, you know. Joshua, who was now very old, mm, <laughs> called together all the elders, leaders, judges, and officers of Israel. All of them. All of them. That's a big fucking meeting. Maybe. I mean. I mean, they don't say how many it is, so. Well, that's true. But each town had judges. Yeah. So that's a lot of judges. That's a lot of towns. That's a lot of there towns. There are a lot of towns, I mean. See? Yeah. Okay. He said to them, I am now a very old man. You have seen everything the Lord your God has done for you during my lifetime. Is he going to go up on a mountain and die now? Oh, my God. The Lord <laughs> your God has fought for you against your enemies. Yeah. Enemy. Something like that. I, I actually think they fought against their enemies. But yeah, right. But that was just my take on it. I don't think that those people were the enemies. I think that Israel was the enemy <laughs> right? here. Yeah. They, like, went through and were like, mine, mine, mine. Yeah, yeah, you guys were the assholes. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, like that Reddit page, Am I the Asshole? I love that page. <laughs> <laughs> I have allotted to you as your homeland all the land of the nations yet unconquered. Jesus what? Christ. <laughs> he's like, which ones are the ones? Like, he's like, there's still everything, everything's yours, The basically. rest of the world 
He still needs to be conquered, That y'all. hasn't been conquered. That hasn't been conquered. Hey, over there hasn't been conquered. We have it's all not yours. been to Alaska yet. <laughs> right. But that's definitely yours. It's ours. Yeah. Yeah. Just so you know. As well as the land of those we have already conquered from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea in the West. Boom. This yeah. land will be yours. For the Lord your God will drive, will himself drive out all the people living there now. False. False. <laughs> I, I, that did I'm not happen. I'm tell you that is not how it goes. That is not what happened. No. Yeah. You will take possession of their land. You won't, though. Just as the Lord your God promised you. He, I mean, I they guess might. He didn't I mean, say it's when. Not be because he drove them out. Right. But he didn't say when. So technically, right. I guess this could still happen. Whatever. Question mark? Maybe. I don't know. I'm putting my money on China or Russia. <laughs> <laughs> So be very careful to follow everything Moses wrote in the book of instruction. Yeah, that's very important. That pentatouche. That yeah, it's sitting there either in the in the um, pentatouche is in the ark. It's in the ark or beside it. Or one beside of, it. Yeah, two. it's in the tabernacle. Just don't lose it for sure. Nobody lose that shit. I bet they lost it. <laughs> Just like they lost their manas. Right. Yeah. Their manas are in in the I, jar. They never said they lost them. It's in the ark. Where's the ark? Fuck if I know. It's, it's lost. In the, it's in the tabernacle. It's fucking lost. It might be with the tab- I mean, now, yeah, it's definitely lost. And now. all their pomegranates, gone. Boom. Right, yeah. All that shit is lost. But maybe it's like there's some secret society that's keeping good care of it. Who knows? Uh, okay. You never know. That could okay. be the, I mean, Okay, national treasure. I'm just saying. We're right, Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> do not deviate from it, turning either to the right or to the left, and don't do the fucking hokey pokey. <laughs> We're turning around. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Make sure you do not associate with the other people still remaining in the land. Do not even mention the names of their gods, much less swear by them or serve them or worship them. You mean how mm-hmm. they continue to mention these other gods in the Bible? I know, over and right? Over again? Right? Like, and the tribes that they're supposed to not mention? It's like they're jumping up and down in front of somebody going, I'm cutting you off. I'm totally not talking to you ever again. I'm not going to even say your name. Name. I'm still talking to you, but not. Right. Otherwise, why would we know about Baal or Asherah? Molech. Or, you know, yeah, Molech. I mean, like, yeah. what the fuck, guys? Yeah. You piss poor job. Right. Rather, cling tightly to the Lord your God as you have done until now. They didn't cling very tightly. I mean, I they, recall yeah. some unclinging. <laughs> right. <laughs> for the Lord has driven out great and powerful nations for you, and no one has yet been able to defeat you. Um. um that, <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm, I mean, I, I take issue about, with that. Okay, what about the 3,000, just recently, right? Yeah, yeah. What about the 3,000 guys that they just sent to the one town and they, they died? And then right. and then um, Joshua was like, okay, sorry, we got to go in now and kick some ass. Right. And there's also the fact that, like, Dan still had to clear out their land when right? they went. Like, well, right? what, that wasn't, why, was, why wasn't that done already? Exactly. Like, what the fuck, guys? Exactly. Each one of you will put to flight a thousand of the enemy. So for flight. every... Every one for every one, one thousand will flee. Oh, oh, flight isn't okay. Yeah, got like, it. Fly. Bastards. Sorry, I was like, yeah. Get gone. Got it. Make like a tree and leave. Right. So each each Israelite's worth a thousand people. Mm-hmm. That's what Damn, they're saying. That's pretty. Yep. For the Lord your God fights for you, just as He has promised. But does He though? He doesn't. He doesn't. Kind of sucks that. He didn't fight. He blew a horn, <laughs> I, or he responded. He didn't even blow the horn. He responded to a blown horn. Right. Like, Although he he responded like a hundred years earlier, because apparently the earthquake that knocked down that wall mm, happened well yeah. before that, according to you know yeah. things. Joshua did not fight the battle of Jericho, and also they did not um, defeat all these people. Right. So fuck off. Yeah bullshit so be very careful to love the lord your god Mm, give him hugs and kisses every night (laughs) but if you turn away from him and cling to the customs of the survivors of these nations remaining among you you know that you were supposed to fucking wipe out and kill but instead you kept them as slaves because you're lazy and greedy yeah and you didn't listen to the lord right and if you intermarry with them which we totally gave you legal permission to do right then know for certain that the Lord your God will no longer drive them out of your land. Oh, okay. Well, that's happening then. Right yeah, now, that right, is happening. because yeah, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. It's done. Yeah. It's done. Right. Instead, they will be a snare and a trap to you. So they're a snare and a trap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A whip for your backs and thorny brambles in your eyes. Man, I hate it when those thorny brambles get in my eye. And you will vanish from this good land the Lord your God has given you. Oh, no. You know what? What? This is exactly what happened to Jesus. 
the Is snare it? and trap, and he got whipped on his back, and he had thorny brambles in his eyes, oh. and he vanished from this good land. That's interesting, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? I wonder if that's like, you know. I'm sure. Everything oh, right. is Jesus in this sure. Bible. Okay. And that's how they tie it all. The- oh, they were talking about Jesus before they knew Jesus. Look at <laughs> He fulfilled all the prophecies. See the Jesus? Right. See all the Jesus in the non-Jesus? Yeah, yeah. Jesus is everywhere. He's mm-hmm. in your heart and mind. Jesus saves. Did you know that? Um, somebody said that to me once and I was like, saves what? I but know. I was I said it unironically. Right. No, I was, I mean, I, honestly, the first time I heard that, I was like, what the, what? I literally did not, I had never heard the term before. I was in high school. I can tell you exactly where I was. It was the high school cafeteria in San Antonio, Texas. And, um, the girl was Ida Denise. And she asked me, are you saved? And I was like, saved from what? I'll one up you. I was on a date with a girl at a freaking um, Super Bowl party at that's a church. That's embarrassing. At a church. At a church. And that's the first time I had heard it. And I was like, oh shit, what? No, I don't know what that, what? Saved? What do you what mean? Do you mean? <laughs> what? I don't, like, they, and, and they don't explain it. Right. They don't explain it because they don't really know what it means either. Yeah, I didn't date that girl very long. I would bet not. <laughs> I don't know. Ida Denise kept, like, bugging me about it. Yeah. And then her best friend Teresa was like, you should be saved. And I was like, oh, mm. what does that entail? <laughs> right, yeah. Can I, can I see the fine print on that? <laughs> yeah, like, if you can explain it, I'll think about it. Right. I don't know. What am I signing what? up for here, guys? Yeah, like, am I chopping off my dick? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, do you need my fingernails for this? Well, no, you would have to be subservient to men, I think. Yeah, probably. You know, so. But I don't know. I, I don't the have same. a dick. So right? yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I'm like, I'm just saying, yeah. I wanted to know what the rules were and none of them could give them to me. Right. So right. I got fake saved just to fit in. Did you really? I did because oh, wow. I didn't know. I was like. So I, like you went to a church and everything and got saved? Yeah. What did that entail? Um, Like, you know, you, you have the, the pastor guy like says, you take Jesus Lord as your. And I was like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then. Like, um, he sprinkled water at me. Yeah. And I didn't have to dip my head or anything. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then he was, he, he said words and then I had to say words and yeah. I was like, this feels so weird. And I felt like mean cause I felt like I was lying, but I also was like, I don't know. Everybody else is doing it. Right. And then I'm like looking around like, is anybody else finding this weird? <laughs> And nobody else was giving me, you know, like how when me and you are in a situation, right? Yeah. And something, some shit goes down, something funny happens. Right, right. And we're not supposed to laugh. Yeah. But me and you look at each other and we just know. Right. Okay, good, good. You're, you saw that and that shit was funny and we are going to talk some fucking <laughs> shit about it later. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. That was not happening. No, nobody, nobody was giving me those was eyes. Yeah. Yes. And so I felt really crazy, but I also felt like a liar and I felt like a, I felt horrible. Like, I felt like, I'm not supposed to be doing this because I don't believe this. But, you know, since I don't believe it, what harm can I do? But right. I'm also lying and that's wrong. And, sure. Yeah. But not wrong because I'm going to go hell. I don't believe in hell. It just feels wrong because it feels like I'm tricking people. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt somehow like I was taking advantage of them, even though, like, I wasn't doing it. They were forcing me practically. Right, right. And so then the next day at school, my boyfriend was like, I heard you got saved last night. Why didn't you tell me? And I was like, I don't know. I didn't know it was a big deal. And he's like, I would I would have gone. I, I would have been there with you. Why oh didn't you? Invi-? And I was like, I don't know. I don't even know what it is. And he was like, you got saved and you don't even know. And like, he was giving me like the third degree. And oh, it was very stressful. So stressful. And I still did not know what it meant. Right. Because it's stupid. Saved. What does that mean? It means you got some water sprinkled in your goddamn face and you said some words. I I just wish That's that somebody would have told me what it meant. Nothing. It means nothing. Well, I there. mean. Done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I know that now. Yeah. But it was very stressful. Right. Yeah. Sorry I got fake saved, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't do it now. Right. No. No. Unless it was like for like a documentary type thing, or if it was like if you don't, you'll die. Like okay, no skin off my nose. I right, don't yeah, fucking care. Fucking yeah, I, me, I will say the words you need to hear so that I don't die. Right. Like I ain't, I ain't that like stuck on um, my my virtue and value that I wouldn't lie to stay alive. It's, right, I don't care. Yep. Okay, sorry. Soon I will die. Says um, what's his name, Joshua? Yeah, going the way of everything on earth. Deep in your hearts, you know that every promise of the Lord your God has come true. 
Mm. Not a single one has failed. Mm. That's that's false. Right? That's yeah, false. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we could go back and debunk yeah. that really quick. Yeah, that's that's untrue. Yeah. It doesn't even feel that, That's even hyperbole. Feel right. That's like, hyperbole. Right, yeah. That's like when some when something happens and you're like, oh, that's been happening all week. And I'm like, no, baby, it only happened once. And also, if you prophesy something as the Lord or whatever the fuck you are, mm-hmm. and it doesn't come true for like, you know, Thousands and thousands and thousands of years. You're hedging your How, bets. I mean, right? Yeah. I mean, like, it was bound to happen at some point, right? Sure. And sure. then you just, what, take credit for it? Yeah, it's going to rain okay. in the future. Right. There, I just told the future. <laughs> I win. Um, okay. He, okay. But as surely as the Lord your God has given you the good things he promised, he will also bring disaster on you if you disobey him. Of course he will. Because disasters are going to happen. Yeah. And also God's a dick. Right. He will completely destroy you from this good land he has given you. Yeah. If you break the covenant of the Lord your God by worshiping and serving other gods, his anger will burn against you and you will quickly vanish from the good land he has given you. The end. Yeah, but then you'll come back later with more riches. <laughs> right, so right. It's all good. Yeah. You just do you guys. Yeah, because sometimes they don't die. Sometimes... Yeah. You know, they get forgived or whatever. And it said they come back with more riches. Yeah. Remember, it was yeah. it was a few chapters back, whatever. Yep. yep. So that happened. That, yeah. All right. Joshua's I guess that, like, I'm old. Be good. Peace right, out. Yeah. yeah. Is he, we got, we're coming up on the end of this uh, Joshua book, so he, he probably dies he, soon. Yeah. Um, I guess. Like, tomorrow will be the final chapter of oh, Joshua. Oh, damn. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yep. We got through this quick. It's only 24 chapters. Joshua's like... Done. He, he nothing. Right? He, he's no Moses. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> JK, JK. Whatever. Right. All right. So tomorrow is Joshua chapter 24. Awesome. Yep. Well, we will uh we'll be with you guys. We'll, we'll see you. Guys. We'll hear you. What? What? We're, we're doing what? something what? Tomorrow. 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 Bye. Husband. Yes, wife. Remember how you told me we're on Patreon now? Yeah, why? Because we're starting something new for Patreon members only. Every couple of weeks, we'll cover something in the news, a current event, or something we feel strongly needs to be discussed. And only subscribers get to hear our discussion. That's right. It's all for our Patreon members as a thank you for their support. Join now for as little as $2 a month to get all of our extra content. Go to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse. Do it now. Husband, it's the end. It is indeed, wife. Tell the people where they can contact us. Well, they can get a hold of us via our email, which is uh, sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. We have Twitter at sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh, why do you know? Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> Ugh. All right. We have a Facebook page, an Instagram page, and a Pinterest page. But if you really want to get our attention, Twitter's where is where it's at. Twitter is where you're at. Yeah. And um, they should also review, like, and subscribe. Yeah? Definitely. Apple Podcasts um, reviews help us out tremendously. And uh, we also can use your support on Patreon, which is a great place to uh, support us as well. That would be at patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye. Bye.